panda, 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 panda. I got broads in Atlanta, just to throw me in the family. Credit cards in the scams, hitting the licks in the van. Hi, mga kanayan. So this is Aurelio Isip, and welcome to Isip Nayan. Kung bago ka sa channel ko, no? Uh, feel free to like, no? Tapos share natin sa iba tong video na to, so para sa mga nangailangan and then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Today's topic, no? We will talk about the uh, proving the trigonometric identities. So this is the topic for pre-calculus no ng grade 11 and grade 12. So proving the trigonometric identity. So let's start. So we have different kinds of identities. I think na natin the eight pan fundamental identities. So na hati to sa tatlo. Ito yung reciprocal identities, no? The quotient identities and the Pythagorean identities. No. So in reciprocal identities, no, we have cosecant theta is equivalent to 1 over sine theta. Tapos ang secant theta naman is equivalent to 1 over cosine theta. Then cotangent theta is equivalent to 1 over tangent theta. Yan yung mga reciprocal identities. Then yung quotient identities naman is tangent theta is equivalent to sine theta over cosine theta. Then, cotangent theta is equivalent to cosine theta over sine theta. Then, sa Pythagorean identities naman, no, ang magagamit natin yan is sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equivalent to 1. No? At meron pang dalawang identities na may kita nyo dyan. No? So, all in all, sila ay merong 8 fundamental identities. No? So, kung gusto nyo balikan yung aking video no sa tri uh, trigonometric function no, just click no the link above no so para uh, magkaroon kayo ng background about the trigonometry. Okay. So, let's start no. So, for the question number 1. Ay sa question number 1 no. So, we we need to prove the identity no. So, if there is a So, in our equation, no, meron yan two ways, no? Meron yung isa, yung complex, isa naman yung simple. Lagi nating uh, papakilaman yung complex, yung simple. Okay na dyan. Kung alin dito, alin dito sa dalawa. Kung ito yung naghahati sa gitna, this is the equal sign, no? Yung second theta, yan yung simple. Huwag na natin papakilaman yan. Ito lang natin papakilaman yung medyo complex. Tapos, ipoprove natin siya na this cosecant theta times tangent theta is equivalent to second theta. Dapat ang magdudulo niyan, no? Sa dulo niyan, meron tayong second theta. Second theta is equivalent to second theta. So, solve na natin, no? Paano natin ipoprove na cosecant theta tangent theta is equal to second is equivalent to second theta. So, gagamit tayo ng mga identities. So, magagamit nating identity dito, no? Yung cosecant theta, pwede nating uh, gamitin yung reciprocal identity natin no? na 1 over sine theta. Yan yung cosecant theta. Times, no? Multiply yan, yung tangent theta. Pwede natin yung makuha sa ating quotient identities na ang tangent theta is equivalent to sine theta over cosine theta. So, sine theta over cosine theta is equivalent to second theta. So, kailangan second theta yung dulo natin, no? So, in this manipulation, no? Pwede natin tong in uh, manipulation equation, pwede natin tong i-cancel, no? Because sine theta meron sa taas, meron sa baba. Pwede natin ma-cancel. So, ano na lang matitira? So, yan, ang matitira na lang is 1 over cosine theta is equivalent to second theta. Eh, 
ano ba yung 1 over cosine theta sa ating reciprocal identity? Sa, sa ating reciprocal identity, yung pinakita ko kanina, no? Ang 1 over cosine theta is second theta is equivalent to second theta. Ibig sabihin, no? Na-prove natin na ang cosecant theta times tangent theta is equivalent to second theta. Kasi second theta equals second theta. So, bago tayo pumunta sa question number 2, no? Kailangan muna natin i-review yung ating algebra, no? So, ang ito yung tinatawag na yung FOIL method, no? Bago tayo pumunta talaga sa identities, no? I-review mo ko muna kayo ng FOIL method. What is FOIL method? Pag sinabi natin FOIL, so, ang FOIL method, no? And F stands for e, first, uh, outer, inner, no? And last. Kung uh, gusto nyo, yung meron akong video, no? Separate video ako ng FOIL method. Just follow the link above. May kita nyo dyan, no? Ngayon, kailangan muna na rin kayo. Kailangan muna kitang i-review sa FOIL method, no? So, kapag meron akong A uh, minus B then A plus B multiply, no? So, yung FOIL method, yung F no? What is first? Ito yung F. A times A which is yung F natin is A times A is equivalent to A squared. Yung O natin is inside, no? Ay, outside. A and B, so A times B, or AB, no? Tapos, ang I natin dito is inside, no? Negative B, tapos positive A is, o oh, negative B times A is negative AB, no? Then, yung L is the last, negative B times neg positive B, negative B times positive B is equivalent to negative B squared. So, itong dalawa na ito, no, makakancel out yan kasi isa ng positive AB, isa naman is negative AB. So, ang matitira na lang dyan is A squared minus B squared. Ibig sabihin, no, ang A minus B times A plus B is equivalent to A squared minus B squared. Kailangan muna, na, kailangan muna natin malaman ito bago tayo pumunta sa Question number 2. So, let's have a question number 2. So, sa question number 2, ang, ang ating isosolve is 1. Ang ating gagalawin ay yung mass complex na side. No? So, itong cosine squared theta, wala na yan. Eh, no? Parang simple na yan. So, mahirap mong mag-create yan. So, dito tayo gagalaw sa left side. So, kanina, no, nirevy ko kayo ng foil method, no? So, ganyan din ang gagawin natin dyan, no? So, alam natin kanina, ang may kita nyo dyan yung A, A minus B times A plus B is equivalent to A squared minus B squared, no? So, A squared minus B squared. Ibig sabihin, ang A dito, no? Ang A dito, ito yan. This is your A, B, A, B. So, A minus B then A plus B. Yan yung A is equivalent to 1. Then B is equivalent to sine theta. No? So, alam natin kanina yung A squared minus B squared. No? What is A squared minus B squared? So, that is 1 squared dahil ang A is 1. So, 1 squared minus B squared, which is sine theta. So, sine squared theta. So, yan yung A squared minus B squared. So, i-prove na natin, no? Kailangan na natin i-prove na this left side is equivalent to the right side. Eh, ano ba nakuha natin sa left side? Ang nakuha natin sa left side is 1 1 squared minus sine squared theta. So, ano ba yung 1 squared? 1 times 1 is is equivalent to 1 or equals 1. So, yan ay 1 minus, ayusin ko lang, sine squared theta is equivalent to cosine squared theta. Ayan na lang yung ating mapablemahin. So, may kita natin sa identities, no? May kita nyo sa identities natin, no? Na ang sine 
squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equivalent to 1. Alam natin yung identities na yan. So, pwede natin itong i-manipulate. No? Pwede natin itong uh, ilipat natin. No? Kung may kita nyo. No? Pwede natin itong ilipat dito. No? Para ma- equate natin o ma-isolate natin yung cosine squared theta. So, cosine squared theta is equivalent to 1. No? Pag nilipat mo yan, minus sine squared theta. So, ano ba yung 1 minus sine squared theta? Yan yung cosine squared theta. So, ibig sabihin, the cosine, itong 1 minus sine squared theta is cosine squared theta. Equivalent siya sa cosine squared theta. So, yan ay na-prove na natin. So, bago tayo mag-proceed sa proving number 3, no, i-review ko muna kayo ng fraction. So, kung gusto nyo mapanood yung video ko about fraction, no, so, pakipindot lang yung suggested sa taas, no, nakikita nyo yun dyan. So, e, para ma-review kayo ng fraction, so, try natin sagotan ito. Kapag may nakita kayong ganito, no, 5, Tapos, yung numerator is 5, then 2 over 3. No? Paano sinasagot ang kaya yan? Paano siya sasagutan? So, ang mangyayari dyan, no? yung rules ng fraction, no? because uh, this is uh, some form of division, so magpo-proceed yan ng multiplication, then you just get the reciprocal of the denominator. So, yung 5, no? pwede yung 5 over 1. So, 5 over 1 is also 5. So, sabi ko nga, just get the reciprocal of 2 over 3. So, ang reciprocal nyan is 3 over 2. Then, you will proceed to multiplication. So, ang mangyayari dyan, no? 5 times 3 is 15 over 1 times 2 is 2. So, yan yung pag-fraction. So, para naman kapag na review. Review number 1. Uh, sa fraction. Sa review, number 2. Sa fraction, no? So, para naman kapag mm, 5 over 3 plus 3. So, anong gagawin mo dyan? So, ang gagawin dyan, no? Kailangan natin ito mamaya para sa probing sa number 3. So, ang gagawin natin dyan is mag-over 1 tayo rito. Gagawin natin siyang fraction din, no? Yung whole number. So, we will just get the tinatawag na L, C, D o least common denominator. Ano ba yung ang least common denominator ng 3 and 1, no? O kaya kahit pag-multiply pag nyo na lang, so 3. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, no? 3 divide 3, no? 3 i-divide mo sa 3 is 1. Tapos, yung 1, ta times mo sa 5. So, 1 times 5 is 5. Copy plus 3 divide 1 is 3. No? Then, imumultiply mo sa numerator which is 3. So, 3 times 3 is 9. So, ang mangyayari dyan is 5 plus 9 is 14 over 3. So, yan yung mga simple yung review lang natin na kakailangan na natin. Kakailangan din natin in proving the uh, trigonometric identity ano, mamaya sa question number. So, Let's have a question number three. So we need to prove that sec. So siya sabi ko nga, no? Alin yung mas complex? Alin sa alin yung mas simple? So ang gagawin natin yun, no? Ang papakilaman natin yung nasa right side, kasi to para establish na siya, second theta na siya, no? Napakasimple niya nai. Eh. Ang hirap naman magbano. Ah, bumuo, no, na naka-establish na siya. So, alam natin sa magagamit nating identity, no? Ang magagamit nating identity diyan is the quotient identity which is papalitan natin yung cotangent theta. So, ibig sabihin, no, second theta, hindi ko na isusulat yung second theta, no? Equals to sin theta over yung cotangent theta natin alam natin na yan ay cosine theta over sine theta. So, parang ganito yung fraction na nireview ko kanina sa inyo. So, susulat natin to plus 
cosine theta. So, ano bang ginawa ko rito? Sa review kanina sa fraction, no? Na 5 over 2 third. No? So, ang ginawa natin dito, no? Sine theta over 1 <coughs> times, no? Or multiplication na to. Multiply by the reciprocal ng denominator. What is the reciprocal of denominator? That is sine theta over cosine theta. So, susulat natin to. So, plus cosine theta. No? So, yan. So, anong pang ginawa natin? Minultiply natin. No? So, sine theta times sine theta that is this is sine squared theta. Kasi doon, dumalawa. Dalawang sine theta. So, magiging sine squared theta. Yung sa baba is cosine theta plus cosine theta. So, yung review number 2 natin, no? Ano yung review number 2 natin? Yung 5 over 3 plus 3. So, ganito yun. Kunyari, ito yung 5 over 3 plus 3. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, I get the natawag natin L C D. So, what will be the L C D? Excuse. So, ang L C D nya, no, pwede natin itong over 1 so, ang LCD nito is, this is cosine theta. Multiply lang natin, no? cosine theta. So, cosine theta, divide cosine theta, is equivalent to 1. No? Times sine squared theta. So, this is sine squared theta. Plus, cosine theta, divide 1, is cosine theta multiply natin sa cosine theta. So, ibig sabihin, this is cosine squared theta. Dumalawa, no? So, ano ba yung uh, identity natin na sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta kung natatandaan nyo? Tama, no? Ang sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equivalent yan sa 1. So, yan ay 1 over cosine theta. So, yun na lang, no? 1 over cosine theta. Itong buong numerator na to, yan ay equivalent lang sa 1. So, 1 over cosine theta. Eh, ano ba sa identity natin? Recipro, uh, identity na, reciprocal identity natin ang 1 over cosine theta. Alam natin ang 1 over cosine theta is equivalent to second theta. So, this is second. So, ito ay ang 1 over cosine theta is equivalent to second theta meaning no ang second theta is equivalent to second theta so napo-prove natin siya na ang second theta is equivalent to second theta ako ba okay na so sana nag-enjoy kayo sa video na to no? so that's all for this video so good luck soldier